I've been working for the Forage Breeding and Genomic Program uh, for about three years. We have a huge industry behind the forage. A third of the state actually is covered in, in, in planted forage and also grasslands. Those forages are used to feed around two million animals in the state, and they bring around four billion dollars to the, to the state. I work with five different species. I work with uh, Bermuda grass, alfalfa, white clover, red clover, and we do some research also with uh, rye grass. The traits that uh, uh, we breed for yield quality, disease and pest resistant, and on top of that, we also try to select for cultivars that can extend the production season. People have been selecting plants since the beginning of the times. So originally they started selecting what was looking better, and, and then the techniques were evolving until nowadays that we can use molecular markers. Then it came this new methodology, which is called genomic selection, which in reality should be called genomic prediction, because you use the genomic information to make prediction models, and then the breeder does the selection, not that the model does the selection. It's very promising in species that are perennial, you know, that you have to wait a long time in order to do selection. One area of my research deals actually with how we can use this genomic selection methodology into autotetraploid species. Alfalfa is an autotetraploid. That means that the genome of alfalfa was duplicated by itself. We are trying to develop strategies on how to apply this new, very revolutionizing technique or methodology into autotetraploid species. We can predict the performance the same way if we are using tetraploid parametrization or use a diploid parametrization. So that's part of my research. And I'm for sure that's something that I'm going to keep doing because it's something that's needed not only here for the program, but it's needed in the research world. The Ryegrass program is another you know, example of a successful program here. I start working in developing methodologies to develop cultivars faster in the ryegrass. One of the breeding techniques that you know, breeders use is the chromosome doubling. And in chromosome doubling, actually, we use chemicals to double the amount of, of DNA that the plants have inside. You can increase the organs of the plants. And now we are being working toward demonstrate with experimental data that actually that is the case in, in ryegrass. And it's looking great so far. When you are working in breeding, your impact is not in a short term. I mean, the developing a cultivar is a process that can take up to a dozen of years. And I believe that the success of my program is because of the people I'm working with. I think there is a robust base here and you just have to grab it and keep running with it.